Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. A lot of students ask me that many times in lot of companies that they don't give any compiler to run queries during the interviews. We have to write queries on Notepad or WordPad or on the chat window. So how do we solve questions? So today I'm going to solve a question. It is asked in Amazon for the BI interview. I will solve this in Notepad. I will explain how to approach the problem, how to imagine that what kind of queries we should write, how to write CTs, subqueries or whatever is required, right? So we will go step by step. Also what I have done, I have created some data in the SQL server as well. So what we will do, we will first solve this question on Notepad purely and then take this query and run it on the actual data and see if everything is fine. Okay, so let's get started. This is my question. So we have a table where we have Amazon Prime subscription history. So we have this table, this is some sample data where we have customer ID, marketplace, event date, event and subscription period, right? Now this event is telling us that someone has subscribed to the Amazon Prime membership or it is a renewal or is it a cancellation, right? So there can be three possible values in this event column. So if you look at this customer, he subscribed to the Amazon Prime on 5th January 2020. Right again, he renewed on December 2020. First, he did for six months, now for one month. Right, and then this is a cancellation. If someone has cancelled, then event will be C and subscription period will be null. Okay, so we assume the moment someone is cancelling it, the subscription will go. Right, okay, so what we have to do? So, there is one assumption that one customer can only be in one marketplace. So, there can be multiple marketplaces like India, USA, but one customer will be in only one. Okay. So, we have to write a query to find number of active prime members at the end of 2020 in each marketplace. So, we have to find which all customers are active at the end of 2020. At the end of 2020, which customers are prime members, right? Okay. So, this is the question. Let's start solving it. So let me just make it as a comment and I will change language to SQL. You might not get that option during your interview, but that's okay and doesn't matter much. Okay. So now first thing is very important thing is the moment we say at the end of 2020, which means I am not at all interested in whatever events are happening after 2020, right? Any event which is happening after 2020, I don't care because I need to know at the end of 2020, right? The person is member or not. So straight away, I will filter the data. So this is simple. You don't have to heart, uh, by heart anything for that. So select star from this where event date, right? Less than or equal to 2020, 20, 12, 31. So this we will do first, right? Now, after that, you don't have to care about the event date. It is in 2020 or 2021 or 2019, doesn't matter. We have filtered data and we will get all the events before 2020. Now, second thing is this renewal and subscription is just for confusion, right? For us, it doesn't matter. What matters for us that before 2020, before, 2000, before the end of 2020, we are interested on the latest event, right? Whatever he has done in the past doesn't matter. Whatever is the latest event for that customer before this that, as per that I will decide if he is a member or not, right? Whatever he has done here doesn't matter. Whatever latest this guy has done. So this is out of the equation 2021. Out of these two, I am not interested in first because I am interested in the latest one. If it is cancelled, then he is not the member. If he has renewed, and he has renewed for one month. So from 5 12, 2020, I will check till what date it is valid, right? And as per that, I will do it. So basically, I'm interested in the latest event. Okay. So what I will do, I will do a row number here. So I'll do row underscore number over partition by partition by customer ID, right? Order by event date. Right, order by event date in descending order. So this will give me rank one for the latest order of sorry, latest subscription of each customer. 
it will give rank 1. So what I will do, I will just create a city with city as, okay, and I just select star from city, right, where rn equal to 1, right. So this will give me the latest event of each customer within 2020, before 2020 end, okay. So this is one thing. Second thing is, if the latest event is cancelled, right, let's say this is my latest event, if this would have been cancelled, right, then again, he is not a prime member. If the latest event is cancelled, then he is not a prime member, right, then I can say and for the latest event, right, it should not be C, not equal to C, right, this is second thing we have to do. Now, the last thing that we have to do is we have to check that as per the latest event, if he is the prime member or not on this date, right? End of 2020. For that, for the latest event, we have to see that till what date this guy is, this guy has Amazon Prime subscription. So, what we will do, we will add these many number of months. So, this is in months in the event date and see till what date it is valid. So we will say date add, date add or date add function, I think, whatever. It doesn't matter. If you write date underscore that, no one will judge you that you know exact name, right? I think it is date add. We'll see. Okay. Now what I want to add, I want to add month. So I'll say month, right? Second, second parameter we have to pass is how many months. So this is the number of months I want to add in, add in event date, right? And this will give me till as valid till, right? Till this date, Amazon Prime membership is valid, right? Now, I just need to check if this date, if this date is greater than or equal to this, right? Then I can say this person is a Prime member on at the end of 2020, right? So I can create a subquery or maybe I can just directly put this in where clause. I will say and this date, this is valid till should be greater than or equal to this date 2020 12 31 right if it is expiring before this date then he is not the member so it should be this or greater than this okay so this is my final query this should give me all the users who are active on the at the end of 2020 okay now let's validate move on to the sql server okay so this is my sql server okay so I have created some data here for around nine users before I execute the query. Let's see what should be the output, which users are their uh, prime member at the end of 2020. So let's start with user one. So user one has subscription event, this event, and this is in 2021, right? This is in 2021. So I will just ignore this. The latest is this in 2020, right? On 5th of December, this person has renewed for one month which means 5th January 2021. So this guy should be there in the output. He was the prime member at the end of 2020. Now let's see question number two, oh, sorry, customer ID two. If customer ID two, this is the latest event before 21, within 2020, right? And this is canceled. So this guy should not be there in the output. So two will not be there. Let's move on to three. If you look at the three, this guy subscribed in 2019. This is the latest one, right? And on 1st December, this guy renewed for 12 months. So yes, he will be there, right? He will be there, a prime member, right? Now let's look at the customer ID 4. 4, this guy has cancelled on 25th December 2020. So this guy will not be there. So 4 will also be not be there. Let's look at 5. 5 has cancelled again. If you see, this guy has cancelled on 20th November 2020. So 5 will also not be there. Let's look at 6. So 6 has subscribed on July for 6 months, right? This is 2021. So we can ignore this is the latest event. And if we add 6 months in July, it will go till January. So 6 should be there in the output, right? 6 should be there. Let's look at 7. So 7 has subscribed for 12 months on August. So yes, he will be there. 7 will also be there. Let's look at 8. 8 is cancelled again. If you see on December, this guy has cancelled. So this will not be there. This will not be there. 9 has subscribed for one month 
on November 10th. So it will be valid till December 10th. So this guy will also not be there. So in our output only 1, 3, 6, 7 should come if our query is correct. Okay. So let's take our query. This is our query. And let's try to run this. Okay. So this is my query. Let me take some space. Okay. And let's put a semicolon. Yeah. Let's run this. Okay. So if you see 1367 and this is also 1367. So our query is working fine. Right. Everything is fine. Even if you make some mistakes, let's say for example, instead of date, you write date add or you write, let's say instead of months, you write months. Some of these small problems are fine. They will not judge you on that. Your logic should be correct. In our case, luckily everything is fine. We did not make any mistake and it is running fine, but it is okay to make a small mistakes. For example, you forgot as while writing their query, it is fine. They will check in the notepad only, right? It is absolutely fine. Don't worry about it. Focus on logic. If your logic is correct, it is absolutely fine. If you don't remember the functions, you can just write some, you know, English version that add date or something so that they understand that you want to use that function. Right. So don't worry about it. I hope this helps uh, in, in your interview. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe and like the video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.